the madman. All right, welcome to the easiest arenas you'll ever play. Because Ragnaros, for I believe the next three weeks, is this Ragnaros? It, it seems like play more arena, fool, is a Ragnaros thing. Yet it's actually a Hune. By the way, I don't know who this Ahune chick is. Sounds like a chick. Sounds like this confirms Ahune as the uh, next legendary, perhaps in the next expansion. Play more arena, fool! He's like a Ragnaros imitator, except he's Frost instead. Perhaps you would be interested in a free arena? Oh. Yeah, I've played three games of arena. That's pretty good. Ooh, we got free packs! I like this guy. This guy's pretty awesome. Have a win on me. A free win for new runs started during the Frost Festival. What? Wow. Arena matches are a mainstay of the Frost Festival. Happy drafting, fool! You're so generous, Ahun. Never see it coming. So, praise Twitch. Uh, they're as generous as Ahune uh, in making sure I get my favorite class uh, for the arena. Silithid Swarmer is pretty good. 3 mana, 3 5. How can I turn that down? Reporter, some tea. I'm gonna pick Harvest over the 6 mana 3 8. Uh, Tolvir, even though I have no elementals, we'll pick some up. Maybe. Morgan. Cult Meistering. Hallucination, I think. Hired Gun. That's close. I have two 3 drops already, which I think is the tiebreaker. That's the tiebreaker. Mimic Pod. Alright. Perditions, that's really good. So is Undercity Huckster, though. But Perditions is really good. That's a lot of three drops. Champion. Backstabbery. And Venom weapon's really good. Wow, Perditions again. Or SI7. I'll pick up an SI in this case. Oh, <laughs> rewarded. That's another Perditions. Lightforge wants me to pick Primalist over Hydra. I am a rogue, and I am going to have lots of weapons dealing damage to my face. I guess Hydra is pretty bad in this class. And I need some late game, I suppose. Uh, I could go Mercenary because I do need more late game. Hired Gun, I think, beats Silver Moon Guardian, even though I have a bunch of threes. Yeah. Don't forget to tip your Torn. I only have uh, one two drop so far. Not that two drops are essential in Rogue since you can just hero power. But I'll still pick Friendly Bartender. This deck aims to be killing everything on the board, so mind control tech probably doesn't actually occur. Uh, Gadgets and Ferryman will get me back my SI7. That's about it. Another backstab. Grizzly. Sure. Lifeforge is definitely overrating Voodoo Doctor here. Got a Lasher over Arcane Anomaly. I'm over Cultist too, since I don't have that low uh, of a curve. Rager, not Rager this time. Hey, Illusionist. It's pretty good as Rogue. It's a lot of three drops. So I've actually got one, two, three, four, two drops already. I would be fine when Rogue with zero two drops. So uh, definitely need some late game. Another three drop. Pick Eviscerate. And happy to get a Crusher on the last pick. It's a good late game card. Twitch is putting it in solidly into the 6 to 8 category of wins. I think this deck, uh, it on the, on the first glance it looks like it's very off balance in the sense that it has a bunch of 3 drops, but these are all quality cards. Uh, I don't think I have a single card that's bad in this deck. There's some that are slightly below average, but certainly none that are bad, and I have a lot that are good between two backstabs uh, and Venom, Perditions, two of them, Shadow Strike, Eviscerate, SI7. Uh, we've got some good rogue stuff. So I think it gets ahead early, and then it stays ahead. And then in the late game, it can draw a bunch of cards. It has a Cult Master for drawing cards, too. So, 
I'm going to say this deck will go 10 wins. Uh, not giving it the 12 treatment just because it is off balance in terms of mana curve. This deck just has so many efficient cards. Okay, Iron for Grizzly. That's the one bad card in the deck. And there are slightly and there are some cards that are slightly weaker, but none that are like as grossly weak as Iron for Grizzly. I've got a good curve, so I'll hallucinate turn one. I don't need to save it for the combo. Oh that's a good one. I did do a little bit of thinking on whether or not I wanted to uh, save that for the combo, but nah. Good as is. Praise Perdition's Blade. Here we go. Already attacked. Hmm. Well, Bogil Sniper being pretty handy here. Love my team of uh, two attack guys take out this horrifying two mana four four. I can have my bo oh, <laughs> that's fine. Uh. It doesn't matter that much if he gets a 3-3 uh, three, three for 3 get away at this point. It's good. But in the case that was Redemption, I absolutely had to kill it. Oh, that's a big minion. Prepare for despair. Shadow Rager isn't an elemental. Too bad. Frozen Crusher is. <laughs> so we have to do exactly Frozen Crusher Stone Shaper combo. You don't have to. It's still 4 mana 3 5, I suppose. One shot, one kill. Reporting for duty. Really good equality, actually. We can play Thistle T uh, last, even though it's better for curve now. I should play it after I develop the minions. I guess we'll do uh, Thistle T because the other two cards are meh ish. Yeah. It's a happy little card to get. Can clear. Question is, do I clear or do I hit him for two? Uh, he has a fledgling in his hand, and then one more card. It seems like I'll always win if I clear here. I think. Given that one of the cards is fledgling, and I don't know what the other card is. All right. Nice. Yeah. 
Slow down there, Valira. Oh! Despair. Oh. oh, that is that is not good. This, uh, this is a total of eight damage. So, could I? Do I have anything in my deck that deals two? Backstab, eviscerate. If I went for the SI7 on Deathwing, I could still win if I drew Eviscerate and he blinked, I guess. This guy's uh. There's also the question of can I ever, like, just kill him? I would need to get 6 damage. That's pretty unlikely. And there's also Stormwind Champion, I guess. Reporting for duty. I hope I don't get punished for not dealing two to the Deathwing. There are some draws that'll do it. But I could also mimic pot into I could uh cult man. That's this this punishes for me for not dealing the damage to Deathwing. Because no. That was a great draw. Probably one of the better ones I can get. Oh. Well, it turns out I can actually still kill Deathwing. Because I actually drew the card that drew cards. Pretty lucky. Bottoms up. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> We've got quite a game here. Side of consecration doesn't matter. Reporting for duty. Lethal on the board. I only opened myself up to dying the one damage instead of two. Thank goodness. Oh, the backstab it! No! Well played. Emerald Reaver. On the bright side, one and one should be uh, pretty trashy opponents now, although my opponent has a gold border, never lucky. Summoning portal open. Hmm. Here we go. Oh. I want to just play Venom Weapon to kill that thing right now. No. But I can't get through this. This is going to give discounts for a few turns. Oh, interesting. He has no 4 mana plays. Which means if I kill the... Well, no, he's about to play a 2 mana card, I guess. I could Eviscerate in this 2-2, two -two, but it would feel really bad for Eviscerate. Oh, he's just trading. Alright. Hmm. Not bad for him, actually. Have an elemental here. 
to follow up his this last elemental play. Just the least. And then I thought about using the 3-4 to kill the 2-1, because uh, the 5-5 five five is forced to go into the 3-4. But there's some possibility that he'll be able to deal 2 damage some other way. And I have to kill the healing totem, because otherwise uh, I wouldn't set the 5-5 five five down to a 5-2. So we'll only have three mana. Go ahead and Venom Weapon. Mana inefficient, but... Oh well. Good target. It's so tough for the opponent. And Venom Weapon. It's like I have an assassinate that costs zero mana, which is showing. Warriors come out to play. It's tough times. This only works on the simple minded. Hey, lights out. Combo. Hey, lights out. I just love drawing cards. Wow. I just showed up a bunch of backstabs, I guess. Alright, seems good. I was like, do I want to get rid of one of the twos because I already have a two? Do I want to get rid of that three because it's weak? And they're both alright. I can keep one of those for uh, four also. And I can always play Lasher on three. Oh, I guess if you're just watching this arena run, you probably have no idea about why this, uh, why I changed teams over to the Frozen Pwn. If you haven't kept up with the times, uh, the Lich King bought us out and renamed Tempo Storm Frozen Pwn. Uh, go ahead and read the articles on that. Ash to ash. But yeah, my boss is basically the Lich King now. He's kind of a chill guy. As so expected, turn 4 I can play the Dagger and the Laughter. I don't personally work at the uh, Ice Cream Citadel. I think the Lich King wanted to, like, do this, do that venture by himself for some reason. That's why I don't see any uh, other employees there. Seems like a bad idea, but I don't uh, really get in his way. Even though I have a business degree. Yeah, we'll keep everything alive, and we'll stay efficient. Here we go. Kill that so that it can't kill my precious magma rager. 
we got the Tortolan farm list coming up to hopefully uh, drink some tea with me. Or sprint. Those are the cards I want, right? There's a lot of good rogue cards which uh, don't impact the board, so aren't affected by RNG. The card draw cards, the uh, phantom knives, and venom weapon. Do I want to ferry any of my guys? I think I want... Well, I can save the fairy man for the primalist. Hmm. I think it's the right move. Here we go. So next turn I'll go Primalist, and then on the following turn I will uh, attempt to Ferryman the Primalist. I could have set up Lethal by uh, putting the Ferryman out, and that would give me enough damage on the board to kill him, but with six cards in hand, it's uh, extremely unlikely to ever occur. My eyes are open. Assassinate is destroy an enemy, I believe. Oh, sprint. It's pretty good. Mega value. Do we want to clear the board? I'm, I'm always winning if I trade, I think. Uh, but better... let's see, I played that last turn. Oh, I can clear that and this. Yeah, that's good. That's a late game value card right there. I think we should do it again. Oh, I guess I'll just win. going to do a free-to-play with this expansion. Uh, the tricky thing about doing a free-to-play with the expansion is once the free when the ex once the expansion launches I want to be playing all the cool new decks so that's not usually the time. It's not usually the time that you want to be doing a free-to-play run. Man, Paladins, they have the best cards. Not to mention my hero power counters his hero power and every single one of these. For some reason, it feels like it's been so long since I've gotten a hero power that deals one damage. Probably because you scumbags keep picking priest and warrior for me. And like shaman. And all those other classes that don't deal one damage. But now you've unleashed the power. Here we go. So I have two choices. I can go Lasher and kill the 2-1 or I can just go Hired Gun. I'll go hired gun since it uh, survives the 2 1. Could have also went Shadow Rager. I think a lot of people would go Lasher and just Razor Pedal that, but uh, the key is to Let me think. play at a pace in which you don't have to immediately deal with stuff. Essentially. The key to many a game. And now uh, we'll just play the 4 drop. And we'll hit the face. Because 2 1 1 1, it doesn't really matter. Even though I have the Frozen Crusher in my hand. And 3 5 enables me to kill the 4 3. We can get some uh, sick gadgets and carry them in value, actually. Pretty tricky though. So I would have to ferry the Stone Shaper the next turn and then play Crusher on turn seven. No, it's probably not going to happen. Reporting for duty. Hmm. 
It is going to happen. And the 3 1, I have no way of saving it against the swarm of 1 1s. My hero power is just getting so much value this game. It's amazing. I think I've killed four things with the hero power so far. It's pretty good. Sap's pretty good. Assassinate is really good. I'll give it a shot. It's a card that gets insta picked and costs six. Wicked. Three, five, eight, ten. High attack bellies. So if we keep his board clear all the time, the uh, Spike Ridge Steed looks a lot less good. If he has it. Who knows if he has it. Seven thirteen. Oh, Avenging Wrath. Nice. And didn't uh, take one damage on Tyrion. Oh, it didn't take two damage on Tyrion, which is also good. Two taunts, paladins can't really deal five. Got the ivory knight to stabilize. Be my ancestor. Behold the might of storm wind. Okay, nice card. Hmm. Half measure seems to be best here. Some despair created by Ivory Knight. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Tip the door. 
So I have a way of killing Raging Morgan in a good way. Well, it's something slightly better, but alright. Especially since that attack is so good. Coin of Viscerate Dagger, sure, but these two like work together so well also. Here we go. Shock. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the Wow, well, that uh spell damage should have ended up being very good for him. Also, his deck is spooky. Uh, the Emerald Hive Queen. Yeah, that's a really good card for him. It's good and bad. I could go really light on this turn and just make him have a bad play. It's only 3 damage right now. Alright. I'm gonna kind of abuse his uh, Emerald Hive Queen here. Turn 7 Totem. That might happen. Flame tongue. It's not too shabby for me. Get a freebie. Killing spree. Could also just play Stormwind Champion. Yeah, that's good. I don't know where that ticking sound is coming from. What's that ticking sound? uses 1-3 on the Divine Shield. That's greedy. I'll use Envenom Weapon, I'll Hired Gun. Let's see what awesome card Shaman has. Because 2, 5, 8, and 9 is the plan. Oh wait, actually, I should do this. 2, 5, 8, 9. Yeah, yeah. Do I have any spells that deal damage? I do, actually. It's kind of fun. Combo combo. That card would probably be really good in uh, Rogue. Huh, it's even an elemental. Gain off of the illusionist, nice. Look behind you. Lights out. Stay on the curve. Six, nine, eleven, twelve. Uh, might as well fill off the board. I'm counting for the uh, Volcano 15. Some things will still survive. I have a total of 5, 6, 8, 14, 19 health on the board. When Earth moves, empires fall. That was the old value. Hey, lights. 
Oh, snap! Double Hallow's Yellow Valley. Winners move. Empires and triple uh, Illusionist Valley. Valley, Valley, Valley. Valley, Valley, Valley. Triple Cult Master value, too. How much more value can I get? So many options. Oh my gosh, that's pretty good. Here we go. It's a shame he's gonna concede by then. My only regret. 